first thing that you are going to do is that you are going to crack two eggs and use egg whites only. I like to season my eggs with some garlic powder and some sea salt and mix it all together. Now, if I could suggest you guys any breakfast dish for you to try out, it would definitely be this breakfast because when I tell you, it is so creamy and the perfect combination of vegetables and paired up with some really healthy fats like the avocado and it's also very high in protein. And the best part about this is that I felt very satiated after eating this breakfast because I think the egg whites and the spinach really does the trick. Also, it's super easy and quick to make. All you're going to be doing is just throwing your veggies in the pan for like five minutes and you're just going to toast your bagel and then cook your egg whites just for a few minutes and it should take you like no longer than 10 minutes tops to make. I'm also gonna use the sun-dried tomatoes, but I ran out that day, so that's why you guys see me using the olive oil over the roasted tomatoes. But to be honest, I honestly low-key kind of like this version because I feel like, again, it just makes my bagel just so much more juicier and just a lot more flavor and it just tastes so good. And I really hope that you guys try this out because it's definitely one of my top favorites. <laughs> So for this dish, you're going to be using about three to five strawberries and chop them up into a bunch of small pieces. Then you're going to be using about one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and add in about three to four sugar-free sweetener packets. I honestly suggest that you guys use the stevia in the raw brand just because it's way more healthier and less artificial flavoring. I'm just using the Splenda brand because that's all that I had in my house at the moment and I really wanted to make sure that the yogurt came out more sweet. The reason why I use this plain yogurt it's because this is the less caloric option the entire cup is only about 90 calories whereas most yogurt it's like 130 140 per cup or sometimes even more and i really wanted to show you guys like a lower calorie option of like how you can utilize your calories when you're on your own weight loss journey your own fitness journey and you're trying to look for like lower calorie options but anyway i absolutely love this breakfast this was another top favorite of mine it's just so creamy again another filling dish to make when you're using a lower calorie option but yeah i really hope that you guys try this breakfast out and if you do let me know how you like it to Starbucks and ever got the feta spinach wrap you just know it is so freaking good and it's actually one of Starbucks lower calorie and healthier options that they have on the menu and I decided to recreate this and make like a copycat version and use an extreme wellness tortilla wrap which only has about 50 calories per wrap find them like at Walmart or I think any store really anyways I honestly suggest that you guys either double up the serving size and make two of these which comes out to a total 400 calories or you can either have like some yogurt and some fruits on the side just because I personally think that 200 calories for entire breakfast it's really low and I think it's really important that we keep our bodies fueled especially first things in the morning anyways this is again another super easy breakfast idea to make and this is again one of my favorites but yeah I really hope that you guys try this out and let me know what you guys think <music> Another 
breakfast item that I have been absolutely loving. It is high filling because you are incorporating yogurt, bananas, granola, and almonds. And those are all really great ways to make your meals more satiating and just keep you full longer. All you're going to be doing is just going to be adding in some yogurt, chop up your fruit, and then you're going to add in half of a granola bar, some almonds and put some honey on top. Sometimes I like adding like a protein bar or I use like a granola bar instead of like the actual grain just because that's also another way to use like a lower calorie option because sometimes when you get them in a bag, it just tends to be a lot more like sugary and sometimes they have like a lot more calorie. Again, like that's another hack that I use and I really hope that you guys enjoy this dish. <music> going to do to make these egg bites that you're going to be prepping your veggies and chop up some red bell peppers green onions white mushrooms and some white onion then you're going to set them to the side to use for later after that you're going to use two turkey sausage links i got these from walmart use two turkey bacon cook them up for about five to eight minutes then you're gonna use a total of three eggs for this dish and you guys are gonna see me use them later then you're gonna crack the eggs then put some salt and garlic powder and stir and then you're gonna add in about two tablespoons of almond milk and stir all together once you have done that you're going to either use a muffin tray or you can use these single muffin cups I got them from Target and then you're gonna put those to the side after you have done that make sure you cut your turkey bacon and and your sausage links in a bunch of several pieces. And then you're gonna put them into a bowl, put in your scrambled eggs and then your vegetables as well. And then you're also gonna add in a tablespoon of white cheddar cheese, your chopped up sun-dried tomatoes, and then you're gonna mix it all together. And then you're gonna pour it in in each of your muffin cups and then finally add in your last cracked scrambled egg on top then you're gonna put your egg bites into the oven for 425 fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes if you guys want them cooked faster i suggest that you cook it at 435 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes have this really delicious pomegranate bowl made with some bananas honey and some oranges literally just a few simple ingredients all you're gonna be doing is just chopping up your fruit and throw it into a bowl and put some honey on top again super filling you're getting lots of rich nutrients in there the banana will fill you up also the pomegranate seeds are gonna fill you up as well as the oranges and I almost think it's like a candy bowl, but like a nature's candy bowl. It's so good, you guys. Um, when I ate it, I definitely felt really filled up just because of all those pomegranate seeds and the bananas. <laughs>
next up we have this very delicious protein smoothie it's made with rolled oats almond milk peanut butter bananas and lots and lots of cinnamon it's just like the perfect go-to if you do not want to cook at all and do something that's really fast for me personally it tastes almost similar to like a horchata i don't know if i'm saying that right but if you guys ever had like one of those horchatas, they are so freaking bomb. And it kind of, obviously it doesn't taste exactly like one, but it gives that similar vibe, if that makes sense. But it's so good, it's so creamy, and it's just also really healthy. I definitely suggest that you guys make this. another high protein dish idea it's gonna be like this egg inside this turkey wrap type of bowl where you're gonna put like cheese vegetables some roasted sun-dried tomatoes you guys i know i keep saying that each one of these meals are like my favorite but trust me i am saying that with confidence because i really want to put you guys on to some really good meal ideas and i feel like you guys would like this but yeah super fast to make you're just gonna pop this into the oven for about like 15 minutes at 425 fahrenheit and then that's it you just prep it and then just put it in the oven and that's pretty much it and yeah i really hope that you guys enjoy if you end up making this mm -hmm. 